What are you saying, baby cakes? Um, hi, I'm Laura. Babe, you were looking absolute fire in that first picture. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> Any hotter and I'd have to whip out my Hawaiian Tropic. Uh, I'm flattered. How, how are you? Come on, ask me something more interesting. Let's skip the small talk, sweet cheeks. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm new to all this online stuff. <laughs> you're not middle-aged, are you? No, no, I just mean... Because as long as you're MILF material, then that's so chill. I'm down for some raunchy cougar action. No, I, I'm just new to online dating, not technology. I see. Huh. Well, in that case, don't be shy, babe. I don't mind my girls being a bit naughty. Although I don't want to waste my time with sluts. Sorry? You haven't stepped around much, have you? I don't want chlamydia again. Been there, done that, got the antibodies. I... Whoa, your tits in that picture are just banging. Ding dong, absolute sizzlers. They are sending me all sorts of sexy signals. Those melons are coming at me from out the screen. It, it, it's probably just a top making them look bigger than they actually are. Nonsense. Those are some sexy Susans. Honey, you're a hottie. Own it. Thanks, I'll try. But babe, tell me a bit about yourself. I see that you are just your average English student with a constantly growing stack of unread books, taller than you. 5'3", it's not hard. So keep the messages short. You already have enough reading on your plate. Wow, that's encouraging. Um, and, and you, you're, you're in a band? Yes, let's move on to the real interesting stuff. Don't pretend you're surprised, I'm uh, more than just a sexy face, you know. I'm an extremely complex guy with a lot of edge. What's your band's name? Blue Tack. Fucking clever, right? An adhesive pussy. Choosing a name was tough, but eventually one just stuck. Like your appalling sense of humour. And naturally, all the time, chicks are lining up trying to push me against walls. As in, trying to fight you? As in, obviously the fans can't resist my intense sexual aura. Come on, babe, get with it. I didn't ask for this life, but I was born this way. Hey! I cannot be contained. I am just oozing with swag. Right. I, uh... <clears throat> I can offer you a private performance. If you if you want. Uh, perhaps on a video call. Oh, no, that, that's all right. Don't worry. Go on. You know you want to. Um, it's fine, really. <laughs> you don't really mean that. I'm, I'm afraid I do. <laughs> Babe, are you joking? I want to show you my knob. I mean, my music. <laughs> Whatever, they're both works of art. I'm, I'm really okay, actually. <laughs> oh, go on, don't be a fun sponge. You're just not really my type. But, babe, I'm everyone's type. Why are you really leaving? I, I, look, I, I'm new to all this. I think I need to play the field a bit more before I commit to one match. What the fuck? You're pieing me! Sorry, is it, um, what is it? Like, I, I, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. Fine, you're lost. You're making a huge mistake, babe. Never will you meet anyone like me. Bloody hope not. Can I give you some advice? Here we go. Um, yeah, of course. Online dating can be a slippery slope. Why? Everyone's doing it. Trust me. These online romances might seem like fun and games at the start. Once you're hooked, the addiction takes over. It's just a bit of fun. It's not really a big deal. But before you know it, a single minute on this site is too much. Yeah, a hundred hours are not enough. Finding me, huh, you got lucky. But be warned, 
Sooner or later, you'll be talking to countless strangers. Most of them will be creeps. You get to meet them in the flesh, so you won't realise this online. When you do finally find the courage to meet one of your potential suitors, they'll turn out to be a neurotic psychopath, 15 years older than they claim to be online, looking remarkably different from their perfect profile. But before you can make a run for it, they're bundling you into the back of their rat-infested white van. So there you go. Good luck. Don't come crying to me when you get abducted. Okay, I won't. I'll remember that. Are you COVID-19? What? Because you're taking my breath away. Are you seriously comparing me to a disease? A highly infectious one. How is that better? Am I capable of making people suffer? I don't know. Are you an assassin? <laughs> or a maths teacher? <laughs> what? No, I work at the co-op. I stack shelves. The only person being tortured there is me. Oh, man. Did that not do it for you? Awful. I know. Sorry, you were like my guinea pig. I haven't used a pickup line like that before. And, well, I just went down like a lead balloon. Went down like a bloody meteor. I know. I know. Sorry. How about this one? No, don't do it. Do you smoke pot? Because we'd be cute together. Weed! Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, no. I've done it again, haven't I? Oh, it's a condition! <sighs> Sorry. See, I'm bad at social interaction with attractive females. Actually, just females. I won the award at my year 13 Leavers Ball for worst banter. Why am I telling you that? Oh, please don't go. Um, I'm six foot. Oh, and I have an adorable dog. Yes, those must be reasons to like me. Height has nothing to do with it. It's not talent, it's just genetics. And your dog is irrelevant. I don't want to date your dog. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, well, I'm great with parents. <gasps> Mothers in general always seem to love me. Especially when I visit bearing baked goods. <sighs> oh, I make a mean lemon drizzle. Uh, you want me to set you up with my mum? Oh, no. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to date your mum. Not that. No, 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 that. No, no, no. Not doing well. <sighs> um... Uh, uh, what, what do you do? Are you, are you at uni? Do you have a job? A job? Yes! I'm the barrister. Wow. That is, that, that's really impressive. I like to think so, yes. Comes in very handy. You must be great in arguments. Oh, in my field of employment, they're inevitable indeed. <laughs> I, I bet, wow. I've had to deal with all kinds of human beings. Really? Well, mainly just pensioners and yoga mums. I thought yoga mums tended to be problem free. Nah! A common misconception, that. They tend to be very particular about their coffee. Coffee. <laughs> You're a barista. Yes. What did you think I was? You said you were a barrister, a lawyer. Oh. Did I? Yeah. Oh. But um, you know, being being a barista is impressive too. Yeah. Whatever. I know it's not as alluring as being some big shot lawyer, dude. Uh, no, no. I'm I'm sure the the pensioners and yoga mums are lucky to have you. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I, I've um. I've just spotted the photo on your profile. Coffee cup in hand and stripey waistcoat on. I thought the stripes were out my eyes. Your photos are really cute. Bloody cute. Is that what you think, really? Yes. 
cute is how people describe 12 year olds. What? I thought cute was a good thing. Oh, take the compliment, please. You think it's a good thing that I look like a prepubescent girl? Oh, I can't win here. That's the only thing you're right about, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hi, Luna. Oh, shit, I'm so sorry. Autocorrect changed Laura to Lona. <laughs> oh, no, don't. It's fine. Um, don't worry, stress. I think everyone's feeling a bit like a loner in lockdown, so autocorrect isn't entirely inaccurate. Oh, classic autocorrect ruining introductions. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. I'm friends with a Maddie whose name autocorrects the massive, <laughs> which is terrible in terms of her self-esteem. It's funny, though. Because if my name changed to Massive, I'd be thrilled. Uh, whatever. So I'll stop rambling. How are you? I'm managing. Fair. What brought you to online dating? Just a bit of fun, really. How about you? Yeah, same really. It's been quite chill. Oh, you're not searching for the one, then? <laughs> uh, let's just say that so far my expectations have been pretty low. Ah, uh, I had some bad matches. I've had some shockers. Yeah, that's unlucky. You never know what some people in here are really like. The odds of finding something meaningful online is pretty slim. Statistically, virtual romance is doomed to end in disaster. Right, but what choices do we have? Exactly. Here we are anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> Seems like an essential element of the lockdown survival pack. And you might surprise yourself. I had a pretty passionate relationship once, all thanks to online dating. Oh yeah? How did that go? We went out for about nine months and things seemed great. We did everything together. Concerts, parties. And... But then she slept with my best mate. Oh. Many times. They're going out now. No. Yeah. Fuck. I know. Awful. Horrendous. What an asshole. No, no, she wasn't an asshole. Oh, well, that's very forgiving of you. She was a fucking hemorrhoid sitting on an asshole. <laughs> and that's all thanks to online dating. Fidelity is in grave danger. Well, I hope you've recovered. When she first left me, I didn't know what to say. I've never been on my own that way, just sat by myself all day. Oh. Hearts break so easily, no matter how careful you are. But yeah, it's chill. After almost overdosing a pot of noodles and playing boys that cry and repeat, I think I'm finally over it. They must be called the cure for a reason. <laughs> Good observation. Yeah, I'm an English student. It's basic instinct for me to overanalyze things. English? Nice, you read anything good at the moment? I, I, I appreciate the effort, but it's okay. You don't really want to talk about literature. What? Oh, of course I do. Shut up, you don't have to pretend to be interested. What? No, go on. What are you reading at the moment? It's boring. Come on, I'm intrigued. It's really? It's a bit strange. Oh, uh, everything is always strange to someone. I don't know. Tell me! <sighs> Fine. Um, It's this weird middle English story about two sisters and one of the sisters' husband sleeps with the other sister against her will but then he makes her permanently silent so that she can't expose his adultery. But she manages to anyway by communicating through her art and so then the sister wants justice so she kills their son, cooks him into a stew and feeds him to her unsuspecting husband and then finally they all turn into birds. Fuck. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. I told you it was strange. She put anything else in the stew. You were so sadistic. <laughs> Sorry. Um, where do you stand on abandoning a book midway through? 
that would induce a serious amount of self-loathing. Well, even if it's boring as fuck? <laughs> I mean, yeah, admittedly, like, there have been a few that could send me to sleep. Silas Mon, a bane of my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. But it's not a thing I'm proud of. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. Oh, um, look, sorry to end the chat so abruptly, but I didn't realise what time it was. I've, I've got a ton of reading to do tomorrow, so I'm going to dip. Oh, stay a bit longer. I can't. Sorry, I'm really behind. No worries. That's chill. Good night, Laura. All right. Night then. Hi, Laura. M me again. Uh, fancy another chat with a stranger? I'll try not to kill the mood this time with depressing stories of past relationships. If not, no hard feelings. Feel free to unmatch from me and get back to your life. Hi. How are you? Hi. Oh, you came back. <laughs> I can't be doing too badly then. To be fair, you're equally responsible for killing the mood last night with that horrifying story you told me. What? You said you're intrigued. <laughs> I'm winding you up. I'm winding you up. I'm sorry. You dick. I know. <laughs> sorry. So weird, this online stuff. Yeah, you get used to the weirdness. Really? It's just... I don't know, I, I feel like I know you, but I have to keep reminding myself that I've never actually met you. On the other hand, I could be wasting all this time talking to someone who doesn't even exist. You know, for all I know, you could be a robot. Oh, come on, my chat is far more sophisticated than a robot's. You could be programmed to say that. Uh, well, I guess it's up to you to decide whether to trust me. I have good reason to doubt you. It's far more likely to be the boy who's lying about their identity. You could be like 70. <laughs> ah, the textbook fraudster. You better not be 70. Oh fuck, do I fancy a 70 year old? <laughs> Laura, Laura, my granddad is in his 70s. He wouldn't know where to begin trying to navigate online dating. He can't even work FaceTime. Whenever he answers, if he can even work out how to answer, all anyone can see is his chin. <laughs> Fair point. My granddad would be so confused by it all. A few weeks ago, he asked me if I'd done any more waterboarding at the beach. He meant paddleboarding, but I'm obviously not a psychopath, but he just really didn't seem to get that the two meant completely different things. <laughs> well then, case closed. I'm not a robot and I'm not 70. You're a bit like a priest, actually. A priest? As in the dudes in the big black dresses? Not in a weird way, but it's just... This conversation feels slightly confessional. You know, my, my face is hidden behind a screen. I'm sat in a room telling things to someone I can't see, hoping I won't be judged. I feel safer this way. Sorry to disappoint, but I don't really think I'm priest material. Flirting online doesn't really conform to celibacy guidelines. And also, the most pressing issue, I'm a staunch atheist. But, Jokes aside, if you ever do want someone to talk to, like, you know, about stuff you don't want to tell anyone else, or or even if you just need someone to rant to, I'm happy to listen. Thanks. I don't... I don't really tell people things. Not serious things. It's not even that I'm reserved. I, I used to be pretty outgoing. Can I, can I even still call myself that when it's illegal to be going out? Oh, fuck, I'm so bored. Sorry? Let's change the subject. No, 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 shit. No, not you. Just this whole lockdown situation. It's completely murdered spontaneity. Society's completely computerized. All romance is planned. Emotions are literally masked. It's, smiling is basically extinct. There are no surprises nothing's natural on this website like it's holding auditions for your soulmate it's fun i mean i you know i even i even think i like you i, I don't know why but I, I do and this this just frustrates me sometimes you know what i mean i think i do uh, i think i like you too yeah that's
that's a hard thing to rhyme about sounding sloppy. <laughs> it's a better read than you think. Thanks. Maybe. Um, maybe we should meet up. What do you think? Yeah, sure. That, that'd be nice. I'd, I'd, I'd like that a lot. Come. Uh, normally it's just a pub, but a park might be the only option available. Ah, oh, classic COVID getting in the way, cutting us down in our prime. <laughs> if COVID was a man, I'd hunt him down and I'd drop kick the dickhead out of a window. How oh, chivalrous. Thank you. It is shit though, like, sometimes I, I just sit here dreaming about the things I used to dread. That's a bit depressing. Like what? You know, awkward handshakes, traffic jams, mosh pits. Mosh pits? Fair enough, but traffic jams and handshakes? I miss the liveliness, you know, the, the contact. Instead I feel suffocated by space. British awkwardness has literally become global formality. On the streets, we're all so scared of each other. We repel one another like negatively charged magnets. Or positively charged magnets? <laughs> Everyone's definitely negative. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. Very funny. But yeah, you know, here, here I am talking to strangers, doing things, you know, the exact opposite of what our parents told us over and over not to do. Uh, things change. Anyway, meeting up. Um, what options are there? We've come up with a park so far. God, it's like I'm 15 again. It's not ideal. Hang on. Yeah? Um, I I'm, I'm just thinking if there's anything else we could do. Like, go somewhere else. Fuck it. Um, do, do you want to come round tomorrow evening? No one's at home and it's a bit nicer than a park. That sounds great. Uh, let's do it. Eight-ish? Cool. See you then. I, I better go. It's late. If I say more, <laughs> we'll be chatting all night. As much as I'd enjoy that, I should probably go to sleep. Yeah, me too. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. yourself. Just stop avoiding me. Stop lying. Stop acting like you're better than me. Stop pretending you don't need me. Stop all of it and wake up. Listen, things between us haven't exactly been great recently. I'm aware of that. 
we've moved past the honeymoon phase of the relationship, but that's just what happens. It's normal. Do you even know what that is? You're behaving like a child. Love isn't a fairy tale, except it. I know a lot more than you realise. It's not very nice when someone you think you like won't talk to you, is it, Laura? I don't know what you think I've done to deserve this ignorance. You need to show me some fucking respect. I should be able to talk to my loving girlfriend, but apparently she's not around. You need me. I'm good for you. We're good together. You won't understand that. But you will. Just call me as soon as you get this. Jasper? J Jasper, what is it? Look, I, I know I haven't been able to call much recently. I I'm sorry. We can talk more. We're out of lockdown. <sighs> Hello? Can you just say what you wanted to tell me or go? I'm, I'm really not in the mood. What? You seem stressed. S yeah, you know, just uni work getting on my nerves a bit. Jasper? Did you get my message or, or did you ignore that as well? Um, yeah, sorry, I, I... I know I've been a bit distant. Is everything okay? I haven't done, I... I know that you've been talking to other people. What? You can stop your little innocent act. I'm not, what... I know about your little online chats. Jasper, wait, listen. How could you? I thought you loved me after everything that we've been through. Oh, I know, I know, it's all my fault, I'm sorry, look... I don't know what happened. there for you from the start. You had no one, but I was still there. You're right, I'm sorry. How did you know? My brother recognised your profile. You were one of his recommended matches. Oh, fuck, that's horrible. Just please let me explain. I think it's all pretty self-explanatory, actually, Laura. We just talked, nothing really happened. Nothing is ever serious with you, is he? God, you're a fucking joke. It was just a bit of fun, Jasper. Oh, do you really believe the lies that you tell yourself? I don't want to argue with you. No, of course you don't. You're so afraid of confrontation. You do the opposite of what you're told. You only tell things to strangers. You don't tell people you actually know things, not real things. Oh, Laura, you're so fucking mysterious. What? God, you are pathetic. You just... You just... How do you know Stop. what I tell people? I don't. Y yeah, you just said... No, stop trying to uh, divert the conversation, Laura. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. Jasper? You. This whole time. Laura, I didn't say anything. 
It's you I've been talking to. Stop it, you fucked up. We're talking about your disloyalty to me here. Jasper? Was it you I was talking to? I didn't. It was, wasn't it? It was the only way. So you set me up in a relationship that you knew would fail? You knew I would get hurt? Other people can pretend to, Laura. I could be someone else. I was someone else and it worked, didn't it? I know how to win you over. How did you find me? It's social media. It's our fucking maze. Yeah, but how? Laura, you found me. You messaged me. You made it so easy. You... No. That wasn't anything like you. It wasn't you on the profile. You know, for an English student, you're really not that intuitive. Don't patronise me. I stole the images from the internet, didn't I? Obviously, if I'd used my own photos, it wouldn't have worked. You're disgusting. You fucking manipulated me. All of it, again. Well, you didn't give me much choice. You were about to make a big mistake. It was about time that you learned your lesson. What did you think would happen? What did you expect me to say when I found out? Oh, sorry, Jasper, please forgive me. I was full to want more than you. I regret everything. Please let us work things out. Just shut it up! Laura. Oh, Laura, you are being so stupid. You know, it pains you to be left alone. You need me. You are never going to find someone online. Look at yourself. You think that you're so good at having a bit of fun, giving things as little meaning as possible so that you don't get hurt, but you depend on meaning. God, you end up hurting yourself anyway. You break your own heart. How many strangers are you going to have to talk to and trust until you finally realise that? So you look so proud of yourself. You think you've won, but you haven't. I don't want to be with you anymore. What you think you want and what you need are very different things. You should be grateful. You should be thanking me, see, this whole time it's always been me that you like. I'm the one for you. But that wasn't you. You're not the one, okay? We're not meant to end up together. I didn't intend to put that so bluntly, but how else will you realise? But you love me. I've always looked after you. I've always been there for you for fucking two years. When I met you, Laura, you were a fucking mess. I made you feel normal. You can't risk being alone again. It's not the same as before. You talk down to me as if I'm a child, some helpless woman. It's not the bloody 1800s. When I met you, you were different. Maybe you weren't. It was a long time ago. But that year, it was tough. I'm not denying that. The crash fucked me up as much as it did you. And yes, at the time when the whole world couldn't bear to look at me because they were just so consumed by pity that they forgot how to talk. There's that... Poor, hopeless girl from the car crash, moping around school, waiting for her broken sister to wake up from a fucking coma. Initially, I decided to disguise my pain by telling jokes, but people were afraid to laugh. All I achieved was just more awkwardness. In a way, I don't, I don't blame them. What do you say to a person who's so obviously suffering? Then... I needed someone. I was vulnerable. You were in the crash too. You got hurt too, so you understood how shit it was. But, I don't know. Maybe you were pretending then as well. Maybe I was so naive that I was blinded by your bullshit. I believed in a person that never existed. But you've proved your point, Jasper. Mind games work this time. Congratulations. I was fooled by your acts. 
virtual reality fucks with people. But Laura, we can change things. You haven't changed anything. I know you. The guy I thought you were, the online you, the fictional you, the guy you claim to be. But the guy you are. No, 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 no. Stop this, Laura. You don't know what you're saying. Please, listen to me, please. I'm fed up of listening. I don't care about what more you have to say. No, 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 no. please. Please, um, look, uh, I need you, Laura. Please, you can't end this. It's time to stop. It's over.